2014 is a new year of opportunities and changes. However, many of the issues from last year have rolled over into this year. One of these issues is public health. There is a large debate nowadays about whether or not Congress should enforce child vaccinations and whether or not there should be more research and more tools and opportunities for vaccinations. The purpose of vaccines is to introduce a body to proteins that are present on infectious bacteria and viruses so that the body builds up some antibodies which are weapons against these infections. And so before the body actually sees the real organism, it's going to know what it looks like and have the weapons at its disposal. So the vaccines help to teach the body to fight the infections before they happen. So if vaccines are vital to one's health, then you would assume that more people would be vaccinated. However, three in a thousand people go around unvaccinated. This might not seem like an issue, but these people are located geographically, and this might actually cause a problem to the public. There's mumps and chicken pox that occurs because in recent years, I think our generational memory is very poor. We forget that not so long ago there were people in iron lungs and people having very debilitating diseases where they die or become blind or disabled because of these diseases. So I think it's very important that the kids get the vaccine and if not, there can be epidemics. And even now, if we don't have vaccines for certain types of flus, we can see lots and lots of people affected. There's always risks to doing different kind of medical procedures and I think you have to weigh the balance between the risk to a particular child and the benefits. For the vast majority of us it really is to our benefit. For a certain few, people who are allergic to certain components of the vaccine, it's not ideal. Or if they have very immunocompromised systems which can't fight against even just proteins, then that can be a problem. But I think in all the doctors do take a look at each individual patient and see whether they're appropriate for a vaccine. Um, one aspect of vaccination which some people don't realize is that we have a herd effect. In other words, we all live like a big herd of animals and if most of us are vaccinated, we can protect those few who cannot be vaccinated because of their allergies. So unless we have that herd mostly vaccinated, we can't protect the really vulnerable people. So you're protecting yourself as well as others. There are thousands of flu viruses thousands of strains of flu viruses. So every year there's a different flu virus that is the prevalent one, the one that they believe is gonna be the risk for that year, and that's the, that's the flu vaccine for that year. But what can we say about the diseases that we don't have vaccines for? We've now, we, we have these new diseases like SARS and avian flu and swine flu, and why don't we have drugs? We need to have drugs that treat these things like right away. You know, we have this expectation. Um, and I think that's fine, that's good, but then you look at a disease like malaria and it's like, well, God, we've had this for millennia, millennia. We've known how to treat it really well for at least a few hundred years. I mean, we discovered the first drug that works against malaria in the 1600s. How can we allow free will and still benefit the country with public health? Education about vaccines and about these deadly diseases that could actually cause large epidemics if we don't have vaccines. I think Congress putting lots of energy and um, support into the CDC's efforts to educate everyone is really important. I think um, our children are the ones who need to learn how important it is and some of our older folks don't remember how bad it was. So I think getting the education out there is very important. Making decisions like these can be very difficult. That is why we did our own research in order to help enhance our point of view about vaccinations and what Congress should do about them. Some diseases such as smallpox killed off millions of people over thousands of years since 10,000 BC. You can see some of these diseases in the mummies from Egypt. Um, I think that if uh, if we have that memory, we would know how important these vaccines are and how many people had to suffer through the centuries before we came up for a cure. So we leave it to Congress to fix 2014. This issue of public health can be transformed and brought into a new way that can benefit the public.